Uh, right, welcome back. Let's talk a bit about... Uh, we'll go back to the riots, by the way, and the uh, scumbags who are uh, trying to uh, uh, deface our national and local flags, because, quite frankly, that's all they're managing to do. We'll talk about that later. Uh, Just Stop Oil now. We've got Adrian with us in the studio. From And I'm, I'm amazed, Adrian, that anybody from Just Stop Oil agreed to come in, but... Adrian Johnson, from just to give you your full name, Thank if you. you're, you're not worried about that. Um, first of all, um, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, Hillary Clinton apparently is funding Just Stop Oil. So I saw. I was surprised to hear that, but um, I'm, yeah, fine. Whatever she wants to do with her money. You, so you're fully, uh, you, you know, you're, you're quite happy to accept it from Hillary Clinton? You will accept it from anybody. Really? It's one of the biggest funders, yeah. wasn't it, of Just Stop Oil? Through its think, an umbrella organisation. I think most of our funding actually comes from, like, small individual, mm. you know, contributions from ordinary people, basically. But, I mean, her con the one Just Stop Oil gets a lot from the organisation that she... Is yeah, hers? sure. I mean, as a pie chart, it's like a tiny slice, but oh, it's probably... It? Oh, okay. it, uh, compared to a normal mm. person, yeah. Tell, tell us a little bit, a bit about you, um, Adrian. How did you come to this? Just Stop Oil organisation. What have you done in mm. your life? What did you do? What do you do now? Uh, what I do now is I uh, repair dry stone walls in mm. uh, rural Scotland, which is, as you might imagine, is a beautiful job. What I did before, though, I taught Bad science. Weather, Second, sorry? Bad weather. Mm. Sometimes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but um, what I did before, I taught science for 30 years. I was mm. a deputy head in a high school uh, for a number what, of what years. Science, what science? Physics. Physics. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So, what, what brought you to an organisation called Just Stop Oil? Uh, so, rather than another, you know, mm -hmm. organisation that's trying to save the planet. So I could see from the physical science, if you like, like the proper science, that things were going really, really badly, that we were running out of time, that we we're facing... Which physical science is that? So the science... You'll have to grab, I'm not a scientist, so you need to explain it. Yeah, no problem. Me. So uh, basically that because of the carbon dioxide that we're putting into the atmosphere, mm. because of burning fossil fuels, it's getting hotter and hotter, when, you know, and the temperature is going up. That's proven fact. And therefore, we're getting more extreme weather events, like some of the things mm. that we're seeing here. And because of that for extreme... For those of you, uh, just to, to put out, watching us on TV, uh, or for those of you listening to us on radio, I should say, uh, we're showing pictures of what you have uh, sent to us and asked us if we would show. So we're more than happy to do for that. Hurricanes and yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm and grateful for you to show those actually. Uh, but we don't know that's caused. What I mean, I don't, well, there's always I, I, been just, these things just, happening. So this, as far as you're concerned, as uh, a scientist from your scientist's yeah, point of view, yeah. this is something that is now we are at danger level because presumably you wouldn't have put yourself in the situation you have of being with these people that just stop oil. Yeah, that's absolutely correct. So, um, and the, th the thing is, it is weather, but this kind of severe weather is happening far more frequently and it is far more extreme. The other thing though, the other science that I was looking at, there was social science or political science, mm. and I could see from our great history, right, as a nation, that we are not going to make the changes that we need to make in time. And so, therefore, we need to enter into civil resistance. And Just a mm. Oil is an organisation that has always done that. So what about... You're not going to be able to force... But how's that going to work? It's not going to change just, people. Just hold on a minute. Mm. What, what happens is that you think you're right, other people have a different view on this, a lot of people have a different view on this, other scientists have a different view on this. Um, not many, no, they do. Not, not many, to be fair, Jim. Well, I mean, the other day I started to write sorry, out a list of 300 scientists. Mm. I ran out of time. Mm. I was going to hold it up in our interview, but I just ran out of time. And I, I'm sorry, but if you were but to you write out a similar don't You get cancelled if you disagree with it. No, Look that's at not, David, but no, you do. You won't get so on So we're right off track here. Will you the, shut the flip up? The, the, the cancelling that I know about just, is when the scientists aren't allowed to speak yeah. in court, which let's is get, what happened to Let's get ago. back to the point. Thank you. You believe that it is the emissions from fossil fuels, fossil fuels, sorry, James, that are, are the main contributors. I agree. The carbon it, dioxide. I agree. Thank I you. want to see the whole of the planet cleaned up. I want to see people stop throwing litter in the middle of the motorway and round the streets and everything else. You know, some of our cities are disgusting. I want to see people jailed for a long time for doing graffiti. I, I really do want to see it. But we are not going to suddenly stop using fossil fuels. We're it's, just not going to It's going to be to very, very it. difficult. I mean, we're calling on governments globally to move away from uh, all fossil fuels. That's the extraction and burning of oil, coal it's and gas. It's not viable to run societies and industry without it's, fossil it fuels. It is viable and it's necessary. Oh. It's going to be difficult, but the alternative is... But you're not going to do it because all you're society. doing 
is alienating the people of this country by the things that you do. Look what you just did to Gatwick and Heathrow Airport. I mean, that's just vandalism. Why would you think that doing that, I think we might have a, a, some film footage of that somewhere, um, why on earth you thought doing that would make people sympathise with you or... Uh, uh, with your views, I don't know. It's just alienating people. I understand that, and that's that's a, a, you know that's a, a reasonable view to take that it alienates people. But the science behind it, as in the political science, is that when people are shocked, when they are shown We're shocking things like this, yeah, yeah, but you. why aren't the scientists coming up with a solution? Carbon capture. This is all very strange. No one's coming up with machinery to no, remove. Actually, they, 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 they are. Can they we, are. But it's just way just too expensive and not the question, possible. Let's, will you stop for a minute? Because the question is, how do you justify behaving like morons like that? How can you justify that? Yeah, it's a difficult one, isn't it? It's like the, the end the, the end necessitates the means, OK? It doesn't. But you're not going to get to the end the, with these means. But the... OK, so, if the end is to avoid the end of everything that we love, everything mm. that we hold dear, then that justifies I mean, means. How, like the shocking scenes this you're looking won't at stop here. It, will it? What, what happens if, say, I'm going on a holiday and you're demonstrating trying to stop me getting on a plane? and I punch you very hard in the face, knock you down, I'm going to get into trouble, aren't I? Well, um, I shouldn't, should I? Well, no. Because assault, you're trying assault. to obstruct me. Hmm. So therefore I should be able to protect myself well, no. and remove you from the situation. It's not reasonable force, isn't it? Really What's reasonable force? You have to be a force? reasonable punch. I'm catching that plane. Yeah, I haven't got time to tie him well, up in the corner. Well, yeah. And this is what is going to happen if you carry on. Is that what you want? Do you think it'll get you more publicity if somebody really breaks down and, and injures a couple of you? Well, that has happened in some of the process, and people have gone to prison now for a few years. No, it is not our intention to make people violent towards us. It is our intention, though, to bring attention to the fact that governments globally need to end fossil fuels by 2030. And when we're protesting at airports, and again, this is a bit complicated, it's not actually about flying. We're not trying to stop people from flying, but we are trying to stop and so what you're going to do as far as i understand it is you're going to cause more aggravation during the summer at airports to make your point and to stop people getting their planes um you, you know it is the most banal thing i think so-called intelligent people can do do you not realize that people actually hold you in contempt find you stupid if you sat in the front on, on the M25 again, I don't think you get treated like the stupid police did last time. I think now you'd be dragged away and everybody would be able to get on with their, their uh, lives as they were. Why you were allowed to sit there for so long, I have no idea. Do you not... What I'm, I'm trying to have a decent discussion about this, but you don't seem to understand how you are turning the majority of the public against you. James, we understand that it really annoys people. We really hate that. We don't want to be doing that. Don't you that. believe in democracy? Yeah, we do. And we know that a very important part of democracy is civil disobedience. It's well recognised. So then you should be... But you think about all of the historical things that we've achieved. So if you think about the disabled people, they were not getting on buses until they started handcuffing themselves and their wheelchairs <coughs> to buses. They had to break the law. They had to cause disruption. Otherwise, the government, because in their power, they Do will not change. Do you think you are the new version of the suffragettes? The suffragettes didn't get the vote by voting, did they? They had to enter into because civil they systems. didn't have the vote. They didn't. They, you have the vote. You yeah, have I democracy open the, to you. And did you see how many people voted green? Not that many. But going back to the disabled people, they had the vote. They were campaigning in the usual way, but they were not being listened to because of people putting. Yeah, but they have a reasonable people. point, don't they? You, you, people look well, at I your think, thing. I think. Well, I think, think so trying to prevent the loss of all life yeah, on Earth is a reasonable that. point. People that's, don't believe that, that, that's that, that, ridiculous, anyway. Anyway, the scientists life, life will it. carry on, and eventually we're flying into the moon, aren't we? In a few thousand the years' sun time, is the sun, the sun, yeah. sun yeah, flying into the that's sun. A, I knew it was a big time. globe. It's been a long somewhere. time. It's about yeah. forty years. Yeah. Don't worry. Yeah. But I, forty years, that'd yeah, be ridiculous. Do you not realise if you want to make this point, then put yourself up and your organisation up for election. And, uh, that's that's what democracy is. What you want to do is have a revolution. You want to have a revolution. If you are going to have a revolution, there will be a lot of people who will come out 
against you, and I think you will be very, very surprised. You You'll be shut down very quickly. One of the things that came out of the recent election was that people are much more in favour of proportional representation. That would be a very good thing for democracy to do. That would be revolutionary. Also, citizens' assemblies. That would be revolutionary. But it's what's needed, because otherwise, the power of the government, because of its fossil fuel ties and its funding, are not going to So you think you're blocking the road, eventually the government go, oh, they've, they've beaten us, we've got to give in and give them what they want. Well, that's what happened in 2022, Ash. Yeah. Well, and that, 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 they've the, gone to prison, all the, the people that, that block the motorways. I know. And, and they I should know. go to prison and for remarkable, longer. that's isn't it? That well, ordinary yeah. people give up their own freedom because <clears throat> they know that they need to do it. I don't think they'd have done it if they knew they were going to get five years. No, not the way. Um, the other thing is, they're not ordinary people. I mean, you have, I'm sorry to say, you're not. You're, you're nutters. You're not ordinary people. James, you're pretty I, I, stupid. I mean, James, come on. James... Do you know I what know, I'm going to do? It's difficult now. for you to I'm, understand. I, but I'm not stupid and I'm I, not unintelligent. I, and, and, and well, I think you know I that think really. maybe you might be. And I worry about the, the standard of education in this country at the moment when I look at some of the people who are on, uh, on, on demonstrations, a lot of them. But how would this be? Because I think you're talking such rubbish. And I don't like it at all. Now, I'm known for throwing people out of the studio. But what I think I should do is keep you in here and not allow you out of the studio, <laughs> put Ash in the doorway okay. to actually block it. That's, this will make good Ash, get over there and sit oh, in the I doorway. Come on. <laughs> no, the producer thinks it's a good idea. Go and sit <laughs> in the doorway. Okay. And you have got to stay here. Oh. Um, I'm going to talk to uh, Doncha McCarthy, who has been waiting... Donica. Donica. Don Why does he Doncha. spell it... Do well, I don't know. Why Donica. It's, names it's like Irish. That? It's Gaelic, isn't it? Is it? Oh, well, I don't speak Gaelic. I'm sorry. Um, so, you're listen... Adrian, okay. you're here until after you're 10 You're not going anywhere, Adrian. Yeah, <laughs> Maybe I've, even I've got longer. a coach back to Scotland. You thought you did. You thought you yeah. did. You're walking We've got now. someone blocking that coach yeah. right uh, now. Donica, welcome. Um, sorry to keep you going. What are your thoughts on this? I mean, what are your thoughts about the way Just Stop Oil are behaving? Are you not, as somebody who believes in what they're doing, worried that they are turning the nation against it? I think uh, I agree with a lot of the points Adrian's made. The unfortunate thing, James, in any protest movement is if it's not disruptive, nobody talks about it. I'll give you an example. Um, the biggest source of carbon emissions in the UK is not the UK itself. It's the, the, the fossil fuel investments our banks make. UK only emits 1% of global emissions. Our banks invest in 15% of global emissions. Uh -huh. So the big issue is the banks funding international oil. So there was a hang protest. On, hang on. Hang on. How, how are you going to survive without oil? Because it, for, for, for making electric cars, you will need oil. For making almost everything, you will need some form of oil. And this ridiculously stupid liberal Labour government of wet what's it has actually decided to cancel mines and cancel uh, oils, which we have in this country. So we're going to now import them from other countries. I mean, that is just, just the most stupid And thing. ruin the countryside with all those solar panels. It's, it's very possible to have a, a carbon-free society. It takes time, it'll take investment. My house, as you know, James, is, has been carbon-free for a... I've had you're not carbon-free, you're just talking rubbish. You will have stuff... I, probably you're talking to me on something like a, uh, an iPad, a phone, a yeah. laptop or something, yeah, and that will be, yeah. you know, that well, will well, use carbon to make it, oh, won't yeah, it? Of course. Yeah. When we're talking about carbon-free, we're talking about eliminating the vast, vast majority of carbon. So 98%, 99%. I, I don't mind if you have talked about quibble about 1%. However, for example, the extraordinary success of Britain over the last 10 years has reduced our coal consumption from 40% of electricity to almost zero. We're now less That's than because we import everything, so it's just you no, being no, used in China. It's been, it's been replaced by green energy, 40%. I think it was 43 percent last year of our electricity now comes from well, renewables. That's good, we and you should you should years. bow at the statue <laughs> of Margaret Thatcher for helping to close down the mine. She did a great job. I said so then, and I'm saying so now. But we need a and couple, right. and we need a Margaret couple. Thatcher. Margaret Thatcher, I, I, I'm glad you brought up Margaret Thatcher. She, in her speech to the United Nations, was the first global leader to advocate the moving away from fossil fuels. I agree. She said, yes, we didn't. She told the UN, unless we didn't, we would actually destroy our future of our civilization. And the other thing she said, which I think is really important, is that she said Britain should lead. And I think that's exactly what we should be doing and what we can Donna, do. 
Thanks. Sorry, mate. Yeah, I've, I've run right out of time because I uh, spoke far too long to Adrian. Uh, mind you, Adrian is now going to have to be here. Getting a, a bus a coach back to all Scotland. the way to Scotland, and that's yeah. what gas dear, guzzling dear. coach belching out its CO2. You should be ashamed. I should fly. No wonder well, it's so hot you here. Could, you could fly. It will probably use a little yeah. less, or you could have got somebody. You could have walked like the proc proclaimers. Yeah, they walk everywhere. Cycling. Yeah, what about cycling. Electric. Yeah. Canoe. We'll take a, a break. You can see uh, Adrian here at the You're end. You're not going of the show. anywhere, man. Just stop oil. Cuff him and stop.